Hi everyone. We're going to jump out here today and take care of the oil and filter change real quick. It's a, uh, you know, it's a 15 minute job. Probably the longest time is waiting for all the oil to drain out. You know, this thing holds 15 quarts. So just under four gallons. I'm switching back to the Rotella T4. I ran the T6 in it this last time. I noticed a lot of seepage you know from the gaskets and such i get 5,000 miles out of the t4 and i'm okay with that you know that means i change it like twice a year it's not this is not a cost thing i just i didn't notice a big improvement it, it's more to do with the seepage which has dirtied up the engine so it's going to get a whole clean up this time while i'm working on it i'm going to wipe down the top end and and get it all clean in the pan and everything again and because when we were running t4 you know the oil pan was bone dry there was never any seepage my engine really likes the t4 we're gonna go ahead and get this done i got a message from a viewer that took their rig in to get an oil change done and they got charged 280 dollars that's expensive i'm gonna do an oil change on the rig and I want all of you, especially those of you with the 7.3, because that's what I have experience with, I want all of you to be able to do your own oil change. It only takes minimal tool, it's an easy job, and you can buy all the parts, the filter and the oil, and even get a drain pan, which you'll reuse, and you can spend, for all of that, $90. Really easy, and I want to go over it, and I'd like to, I'd like to hear that those of you, especially with the 7.3 again, because I know how easy it is on this rig, I'd like to hear that y'all are doing them yourself and not paying $280. Just uh, looking at a new sticker order, and when you get your stickers, if, you, if it comes in a fancy kind of envelope, maybe says Merry Christmas on it, <laughs> don't knock me for that. Ooh. I go to the mailbox. This way. Mailbox. He knows the drill. I'm walking out and shipping stickers that you guys have ordered. This is great. This proves that my website works. <laughs> I'm so happy. I get your orders and all the payment is taken care of on the site and it's so great and there's actually there's two winners in here uh you know i'm picking five of the first 25 new logo sticker orders and those five get all my stickers so there's two winners in here so congratulations to those two i'm not going to spoil it you'll have to wait till you open your envelope but thank you everyone for ordering from the site and and letting me know that you're out there and that my website works. I'm very appreciative of that. Lefty thanks you. A lot of Lefty stickers. I think uh, it's like three to one Lefty stickers versus my stickers. He's, I guess he's more popular than I am. Just came back from our morning walk. Lefty got his breakfast. He's going to supervise because I've got a little job we're going to work on today. There you are. Checking over everything, my PPE. I'll get my safety glasses out, sir. Because the, the snap broke like everyone else's does. So give yourself a little Velcro strap. And this is a piece of a yoga mat that I cut to fit in here. And it keeps these from shifting around if that lid ever, you know, loosens a little. Poor man's creeper. You can't beat these. They're like 15 bucks. I actually have two of them. I've never jacked the truck up to do an oil change before because there's plenty of room to reach under there and do everything I need to do. There we go. 
go. See why wearing the gloves is such a good idea. So I always replace this crush washer. Uh, you know, it's, is it necessary? Eh. They're, they're inexpensive. They come in like a three pack. So I would recommend if you're doing your oil change, pick up a three pack of these. It's draining, it's gonna take a few minutes. Now I'm not jacked up or anything. This is all four wheels on the ground. If you're on a little bit of a slant when you're doing an oil change, put your drain pan so that the, the hole that goes into it is on the downhill side. Otherwise the oil wants to puddle up on the other end and it could overflow if it's coming out fast enough. It almost just happened. <laughs> yep, it's down to a drip, so we'll get the plug back in. Okay, drain plugs in, new crush washer. Now it's time for the oil filter. Okay, just pop a little hole in the bottom of the filter to let it drain. Probably should poke two holes in it, one for air, one for fluid or oil to come out. I'm gonna do that next time, speed this up. I think it holds nearly two quarts of oil. And while that's draining, I'm gonna get my bag. We're gonna do the, the bag trick for the oil filter. I've shown this before, but it's worth showing again because it works so well. Take a, an old plastic bag, this is a bread bag, throw a handful of paper towels in the bottom of it, and this is what we're gonna put over the filter as we spin it off, drop it into the bag so any spillage goes right in your bag. Oil filter wrench, there we go, filter in a bag. So the last little bit that runs out of it definitely be soaked up in these paper towels. Okay, time to fill the new filter. It's a really important step. If you don't pre-fill the filter, the first engine start, there'll be no oil in that filter. And so your engine will have a, a period of oil starvation until it fills that filter and then continues to pump. So this is a really important step. Can't stress that enough. So I, I leave it in the box, it helps it stand up. Okay, I'm gonna call that good enough. It's about half an inch, three quarters of an inch down from the top. Now take your finger, get some of this clean oil, rub it on your rubber gasket so it's not dry. This is ready to put on. I've already wiped down the mating surface up under the engine. You want to just wipe off the old oil after you pull the filter down. close to done. Now all that's left is pour the new oil in. This funnel I have just happens to thread right into that filler neck. It's very convenient. Okay, that's 14 quarts. Now I run it, check the level, and top off if needed. I think I've done these so often that I don't even have one drop of oil on the driveway. I don't know whether that's good or bad that I do a lot of oil changes. You know the Power Stroke, the 7.3, loves clean oil, does not like dirty oil or being low on oil, very bad for the 7.3. It'll let you know too. It'll start doing all kinds of wacky stuff. Gloves didn't even get dirty. Well, they did, but easily wiped off. 
Oil change is done. Now this, I'll take this up um, to Tim's shop and dump it in their used oil. So I just wipe that, cleans right up, and I can throw that in the, in the truck and drive it up to Tim's shop and, and dump it. This is what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna take you all with me. We're getting rid of these batteries. This battery here is just shot. Look, it's starting to build up the stalactites on there, stalagmites. So this, is, this and the other one are going back to Walmart. I'll see if they'll prorate me. Um, they're not quite three years old. These have a three year warranty, because they're the max. And I'm gonna get a new pair and see if that doesn't improve my starting. So let's fire this thing up and see what our oil level's at. It's been a couple weeks since it started. I'm not gonna put the booster on it. Let's see what it does. Mm. No, that ain't starting. sound of that diesel gets you going doesn't it <laughs> when he hears a 7.3 crank on a video or on TV he gets up and starts whining grumbling at it because he knows that sound that's the sound of adventure <laughs> I love it dog knows the power stroke don't ya that might be my next puppy's name stroke I don't know that sounds not good. There's some connotation. So I, I absolutely got to get these batteries switched. All right, let's check our uh, oil level. Okay. Okay, hush. Hush. That's enough. That's enough. This is perfect. You just flip the strap, grab it, you're good to go. This is right off of the wish list. Thank you guys for setting us up with, I've got fire extinguishers all around the rig. Gosh, I hope we never need one. You ready? Go to the docks. He seems excited. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it did. You ready? Get the seat moved. Hey, don't use cash in your visible in your cup holder like that. Here we go. Let's uh. Oh yeah, sport mode. Look at the checkered flags. Now we're cooking with gas. Oh, I just got out of the shower and I'm sweating. <laughs> oh, phew. now we're cooking. Look, at it. it's got the power in kilowatts. What kind of upside down measurement is that? I want horsepowers. Are you super excited to be here? <laughs> to turn this car off because it doesn't make any noise. Oh my goodness. You're so big and heavy. Hold on. Checking out the room. Yeah. You remember the last time you were here, huh? Kind of sucked, didn't it? Kind of sucked. If you made it through that one, this will be easy. Yes, so it'll be super easy. You got everything? You smell everything? Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Say hi. Was that hi? <laughs> okay, okay. A oh, good boy. So, hey, after we're done here, we're going to go do some fun stuff, okay? Promise.
Promise. It's got a thumbs up from the doc. So she, she had a great way to look at the back teeth there, cover his eyes, and we're able to pull his lip back and get a real good look. She poked around there. We actually clipped away some of the remaining stitches on one side, even though they're reabsorbing. We just clipped them off. She said it looks perfect. He did really well, as you did. So now we're gonna go over to the town park and go for a walk. Yep. All right, well, we just walking around the park here and I found this lanyard laying out in the grass. And next to it was like a bag of some snacks. So I'm thinking, you know, this is obviously a house key, right? And so I'm guessing like a 12, 13 year old dropped this out in the field. That's their house key. Cause when my daughter was that age, I don't know how many times I had to replace her house key because they would just disappear. And so now I know how they disappeared. So we're gonna ride over here because another thing on here, this is a card for the library, which is right over here. So I'm gonna go in the library and see if this card can tell them, I'm sure it could, tell them who the person is and maybe a phone number and they can call them and let them know that we found the lanyard. You know, maybe I can just leave it at the library. Okay, they're gonna take care of it. They're gonna give them a shout and let them know that their key is available for pickup. <laughs> so I'm starting off good today. We've already done an hour long hike. We've returned a key, hopefully to its owner. And man, your breath is really hot. <laughs> Can I help you? I'm working on the computer. <laughs> What is it? Excuse me. Oh, is it time? What time is it? 805. <laughs> I'm on the computer left <laughs> Thanks everyone for being here. Had a beautiful day out today, like 74 degrees. Just gorgeous. We go from 92 degrees and sweltering humidity to days like this where there's no humidity and in the 70s. Just gorgeous. Everybody take care, be safe. We'll see y'all again really soon. No chipmunks, come on. Don't be moping. Come on, Mr. Mopey.